it back with them, but let us talk about your Philadelphia Eagles and all the hooting, hollering, and chatter that's going on with this game. Taking on and traveling to Cincinnati, our first kind of real test. We got past the Browns. We got past New York um, looking, you know, pretty uh, without a sweat pretty much. Um, but now we get a real test with some real stars on the other side um, that can make plays, um, you know, and, and not just, you know, from a schematic standpoint. It's like you have. Throw the ball up to AJ and he's going to go get it. Jamar Chase Higgins um, and Joe Barrow on the other side. The Bengals are favorite minus two and a half. Total was 48 um, on the nose. I thought it was like 48 and a half at one point. Maybe some money is coming in on the under. I do have a best bet here um, for this game. Um, I'll tell you in a second, and it's a trendy bet that's been happening. I know you probably can maybe guess it. Don't know why we haven't done it as of yet, but let's get into the handicap and just the, the breakdown in this game um, for your Philadelphia Eagles, bro. Um who do you like in this game and um kind of why? Um, this is this is oh, man. Um I think they're two it, similar, I think it's a yeah, tough game. Yeah, they're two similar teams for me as far as right now. Not not as far I mean, even when you talk about ability, skills on the teams, I think they're two similar, similar teams. Um, I think they're two teams you can't really rely on right now because mm -hmm. you don't know what you're gonna get Great. from week to week. Um now, since they're playing each other, it's not much I would look at besides one play that I would play here. All right, if you're asking me who I think is going to win, I would lean Philadelphia with the points. Yeah, me too. In hopes that they found <laughs> some type of uh, identity, which begins mm -hmm. with Saquon Barkley and putting Jalen Hurts in a better position to be successful with that off the run. That's what I'm hoping. I think defensively, They've grown. I think Vic Vangio got these guys playing at a higher level. We still need to start pressuring the quarterback because if we don't pressure – I mean, last week we had five sacks. We mm -hmm. did, right? Yeah. Granted, it was Daniel Jones and the Giants offensive line, okay? Yes. But is that going to transfer over to this game? I hope it does. If, it do if, if that happens, then we're going to win that game. If we're allowing Joe Barrow to sit back there, like, they, like we allow Kirk Cousins to sit back there and – and pick us apart, no matter how good you think uh, Mitchell is at cornerback, he ain't going to be able to guard uh, Jamar uh, <laughs> Jamar Chase uh, for that long. So that's what we cannot – and then you got T. Higgins on the other side. So that's going to be an issue. Um, no play on a no play for me. I would lean the Eagles because I'm hoping that they would come out with the same energy that they came out against the Giants. Who knows what's going to happen? You're going to Cincinnati. But my play in this game would be the first quarter under. Um, obviously, we all know that the, court, the Eagles have not scored a point, not one point, not not one point in the first quarter. I don't that ding 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 ding, and that is my <laughs> that is my best bet. I don't, but, but Nate, I don't know if that's if we're too late though. That's my problem. Like I yeah, jumped on it, I, you know I jumped what? on it last week, and I was on it the week before. Yeah, I don't know I, if we're like to the point where it's like ah everybody's jumping on it. Oh, they're scoring for sure. Yeah, I, I agree with that. But what I did was I took the Bengals oh. to win first quarter. Mm, okay, so or when they're but they're oh yeah, I, I went a little bit. I'm still tackling the first quarter. So you took them, to but win. I'm taking the Bengals to win the first quarter. Okay, and okay. I already already let me see. So the line has already shifted, um, in my in my direction. Which could be a good or bad thing, because like now, like you said, it's it's a little bit trendy now. Um, but yeah, no, I I got I got it at the money line at um minus one thirty. So I did pay the extra juice. It's already at minus one thirty now. Yeah, I, I yet last week I was able to hit double. I was able to hit the under in the first quarter, and I had took Giants, but they were plus a half because they were underdogs in that game. So I was yeah. able to kind of get the plus a half. I think in this game is a little bit different because Cincinnati is the favorite. So you need them to ultimately score um, in this game. So that's the only tricky part. That's why, for me, I'm just going to look at the under, which will probably be seven and a half. Mm -hmm. I don't see both these teams scoring touchdowns in the first quarter. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know what the first quarter line is. Is it seven and a half? Oh, the let me. I'll take a look at the first half. Um, I did want to add first, to the first quarter. First quarter. Oh, first quarter. Uh, 
The spread is one and a half. Uh, what about the uh, total? Nine and a half. Yeah, I like the under there. So that's that's my play there. Is it going to be the under? I don't think two scores. I don't think it's going to be seven ten or seven seven. Um. So yeah, that's my thought on on the Eagles, man. Yeah. So um, also in this game, um, like you said, I think this is a tough game to handicap and bet. Um, I think you're you're kind of spot on that this game is going to be won in the trenches up front. Um, you know, we got some questionable. I think Zach Bond was on the questionable uh, a day or two ago. I don't know if Makai Beckton is coming back. Um, Cincinnati had um, Orlando Brown Jr., their starting left tackle, is questionable. He got hurt against the Cleveland Browns last game. I'm expecting him to kind of play. They have to go all in. Um, they're 0-3 at home uh-huh. right now as well. So they cannot have that. Um, they got to get a win at home. And go on. They have to turn it around. They go need to go on a run here. Now, like us, they play poor, poor competition. They're three and one in the last four. They beat the Panthers, lost to the Ravens in a, a nail biter, and then lost to uh, beat the Giants and the Browns on the road. So, out of their last four games, their three of those games were on the road, and they got three of those wins, but they lost at home to the Ravens. So, um, like you said, I would lean. Eagles here, just because it seems like when the competition is higher, um, they're not doing um, too well there. Um, the big deal was protecting Joe Barrow. Um, he's been sacked 18 times this year. Um, I don't know where that ranks him um, against the league, but I'm assuming that's kind of still higher because I think Watson was at like 26 or 27. Mm-hmm. Um and he was the uh, he was uh, the most sacked quarterback in the league. Let me just take a look where that ranks him with 18 sacks. So he is still he's right there with Hertz. Hertz have gotten sacked 18 times as yep. well. And we have maybe you know what they say maybe the best offensive line um, in the league um, on paper. So um, yeah, top 10. So they'll be able to get after the quarterback here. I think uh, Fred Johnson is going to have trouble with Henderson. Um, on that other side, Henderson is, I think, tied for third or fourth in, on sacks with seven sacks. And we're just getting our footing. Um, so I would I would lean the, because of the points with the Eagles, but um, it wouldn't surprise me if they lost this game. But that is my best bet on this game. Give me money line. Um, I got a little bit earlier for uh, Cincinnati Bengals, maybe a little bit late to the train. But a trend is a trend until it's broken. So I'm going to follow the trend um, with the Cincinnati Bengals to be able to win um, the first quarter. I like it. And I, and, I, and I believe they've scored in every first quarter as well in every game. I think I looked at that when I was doing this handicap. 